Hey guys, top set from today, 790 just for a single. I had planned for a double, but just the first rep was a little harder than I thought it would be, so decided not to try a second. Um, not the end of the world, a little disappointed, but uh, we'd make it up um, during the rest of the workout. Um, 7.45 here, same thing, I had one of the double. I think I would have had it too, but I was sort of psyched out at this point from uh, not going for the double before. And here is the uh, set I'm most proud of from the workout. 7.05 for a triple, but after I'm fatigued. And uh, definitely the third rep was definitely very tough. Um, you know, when I don't um, have the best top set that I wanted for the day, I always try to make it up on a down set, and that's what I feel like I did for the day. Just uh, skip deficits, because this one was really tough. Here's uh, one of my favorite uh, back accessories. Now, again, you guys ask me, you know, what accessories I like. Um, don't expect this to make your deadlift go up. Um, the gym just actually got this machine, but I have always liked the way this sort of machine feels, so thought I'd do some of it after. And again, with uh, four plates and a quarter here, I think it said the bar weighs like 42 pounds or something. Again, just for a little, uh, you know, extra back work. And uh, some curls with the 60s here. You know, same thing. A lot of people ask me, you know, am I doing curls because it's going to help my powerlifting? And, you know, no, guys. I just like having big arms. You know, I've never really understood the concept of, uh, you know, wanting to be like this big, this uh, really strong powerlifter that doesn't even, like, look like they lift. Now, I get you don't want to be this weak bodybuilder that can't even deadlift 600 pounds. But, you know, I've always wanted to be pretty jacked. So, yeah, that's why I do curls. 